Opening, Saving, Deleting a Document. This video is going to show you how to download a document, open a document that you download, save a document, and delete a document. In my email, I see that someone has sent me a document. To download the document, I hover my mouse over the attachment and click the button that says Download. In Chrome, the document will be listed at the bottom of the window. I can click on that to open the document. If you download a document and you can't click on it through Chrome, you can still find the document by clicking on the Start icon, opening the Document Explorer, and then clicking on Downloads. You will find Downloads in the list on the left side of your screen. Once you open your Downloads folder, you can look for the document by looking for the title or the name of the document. To do this, you can either scroll through the list or you can search Downloads by typing the name of the document. My document was called Email Document. I have a lot of downloads, so I am going to search the document name by typing Email Document in the box that says Search Quick Access. I see my documents, and now I am going to click on the document to open it. Now my document is open. I want to make changes to the document, so I will click on the Enable Editing and I will be able to type on the document. I am finished adding to the document, so now I will need to save it. To save the document, I can click on the Save icon and the document will be saved. However, the document will be saved in my Downloads folder and that isn't where I want to save it. So, instead of clicking on the Save icon, I will go to the File tab and select Save As. I will then select this PC from the list on the left and select Desktop from the options on the right. This will open a window that has my document name filled in. I will click on Save to save the document to my desktop. I'll check my desktop and see that the email document is on my desktop. Email document doesn't really tell me what the document is, so I want to change my document name. To rename the document on my desktop, I right-click on it once and select Rename Document from the list. This will open a white box under the document icon, and I type in it and give my document a new name. I am going to call the document Project 1. To save the document name, I will click on the desktop, and the document will be saved with the new name. Now that the document is on my desktop, if I want to open it again, I can just double-click on the document icon. First, the application will open, and then the document will open. If you open a document but do not make any changes to the document, you can click on the red box with an X to close the document. If you do make changes, you need to click the Save icon to save the changes and close the document. I've submitted Project 1, and I don't think I need the document anymore, so I am going to delete it. To delete a document, left-click on it once and drag it to the recycle bin, then let go of the mouse. The document will be moved to the recycle bin. Using the Recycle Bin lets you delete documents you don't want ever again, but if you realize that you might need the document later, you can open the Recycle Bin and find your document by searching for the name. I decided that I need my Project 1 document again, so I double-click on the Recycle Bin to open it. I search the Recycle Bin for Project 1. I find the document. 
and then I click on the document and drag it back to the desktop. I click Move and the document is now back on my desktop where I can continue to work on it. Now that you've learned to download, open, save, rename, and delete documents, it's your turn to practice. You can watch this video again or ask your teacher if you need help.